My name is Jared Fortney and I'm a Group Networks Consultant. Today we're going to be discussing uh, calendars and work hours. This will be a general summary of how calendars and work hours work. What we're looking at here is uh, the Harbor Point project that we've been using in the, in the prior tutorials. And what we're going to do is explain uh, how the calendars are applied. You can see I've pulled up a column here that uh, that shows you exactly which calendar is applied. You can do that by adding the calendar column. So you can see every calendar that's applied to every specific activity. You can also come down on to the activity details and you can hit the general tab and you'll see that the acti activity calendar can be uh, changed here. So for whichever activity you're clicked on you have selected you can go and choose another calendar you'll see a number of calendars here these are all the calendars that are globally shared uh, amongst all users of this installation of Primavera P6 <clears throat> um, there's also going to be other ones where you can you can see project calendars and there's also going to to be uh, calendars that are specific to you as a user. I'll show you that in one second. So outside of this column, uh, which you normally wouldn't pull up, but as I'm just showing you as an example that you can you can display that. Normally you would set the the calendar here in the general tab, but where you really do a lot of your work is here under enterprise and under calendars. This is going to pull up all of your options. And as I was speaking to you just a minute ago, you can see global resource and project calendars. Now resource calendars are going to be calendars that are specific to uh, all the resources that you utilize in your project. So let's say you have a group of carpenters and these carpenters do not work on Friday. You would be able to make their work week be uh, Sunday through Thursday as their five day work week. You can also set the number of hours they'll work in a day. You can uh, you can you can do all of that here and it's basically determining your resources availability for work. Um, you can also see here under the global these are all calendars that will be shared uh, and are specific or not specific but are globally shared amongst all users of of this installation of Primavera P6 and then you'll have project specific calendars so currently this uh, Harbor Point project does not have any project specific calendars so let's go ahead and add one by clicking the add button um, and what we'll do is it says global calendars Alright, so what it's offering us the ability to do is to copy from a global calendar. So we'll choose standard just to get started with. We're going to name this, let's see, Harbor Point or HP Carpenters. We'll click off of that. And what we'll do is come over here and click modify. Now this is where you're going to do uh, the real work. You're going to determine when the actual availability of these carpenters is. Now at an activity level, you might say that you know you have an activity over here that just says um, it might be uh, woodwork, and you know in your mind that that's specifically related to carpenters. So you may apply the HP carpenters calendar to that activity. Um, this this calendar may also be applied just to you know a resource so it's, it could be a resource calendar and applied directly to uh, a specific resource which uh, would be you know one of your one of the carpenters but here you'll see you have total work hours per day and then detailed work hours per day so basically all this does is show you this this uh, this detailed um, little graph on the side um, or it shows you how many work hours per day they're available so 
what you can do here is set days to work or not work and you'll see here that that this gray is standard which means you know the person go work that day the non work is in blue and the an exception would be like holiday or or uh you know something that's outside of regular standard or non work so what you basically would do is let's say with our example with the carpenters we said that they don't work on Fridays but they do work on Sundays so what we would do is come over here and we would set this as a Sundays as a work day and you'll see that that's now making all Sundays uh, you know workable <clears throat> and what we'd like to do is turn off the Fridays as non-work. But keep in mind that this is only for the month of November. So if we were to bounce ahead to December, you'll see that this is not, uh, it's not carrying over to other months. So these calendars, uh, you really have to be mindful of, uh, of their, of their length or their their scope so what we've done is successfully set up this uh, HP carpenters as you know a group that works from Sunday until Thursday so they have a their five days are probably offset from everyone else now you can turn their work hours up you can say they're going to work you know nine hours on Sundays Once again, you have to apply this to all months that are applicable. Um, and I believe here you can set the uh, hours per time period. So you would say they work eight hour days, they work 40 hours a week. Um, this is specific to the calendar. And you can also do it this way by calendar work, work weekly hours. And you can see that we have. Uh, we would want to put eight here and we want to take Friday off so they take Friday and Saturday off and we want to set these as standard work days not a, it set it as exception before now We've got this calendar, HP Carpenters, um, and you're able to now go in and apply. Let's see if we can find a activity. Let's say that building structure one is going to require carpenters only. We would come in here, select the activity, and we can now apply HP Carpenters. Now, what that does in your Gantt chart is it should if you were at a drilled down on the time scale here to a level that showed days um, it would show you that these uh, that this activity would not occur on um, or on a Friday um, but it would occur on Sundays so when you do your resource leveling or you, this uh, or Primavera calculates the duration of this activity for you. It would take into consideration that work could not go on on Fridays, but could go on on Sundays. So once again, uh, this is a general overview of calendars and workdays. My name is Jared Fortney. I'm a Group Networks consultant, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks very much.